What's up, Miko? Today I have the McLaren 570S that we looked at a few videos ago, but I wanted to see what the aerodynamics of this vehicle would be if it's close to a wall. So I've put it, let's make the wall here, and it's about a, meter, a little bit less than a meter away from the wall, and I extended the streamlines quite a distance so we can see what happens to them. So the most of the flow looks pretty similar, like the wake dives down a lot, and as we rotate around, you'll see that the wake is still fairly symmetric, which is not what I expected. So just about here, for example, you can see the wake is fairly symmetric. There's not one side that's been affected more than the other. Um, I wasn't expecting that considering that it's fairly close to the wall already. So I think that I'll probably want to do another simulation where it's very close to the wall. What this shows is that even being close. And with this video, we have the X-plane going through the McLaren and the McLaren will rotate around. It's colored in the U magnitude. I wanted to see how it develops. So for example, here you can see that the wake is still not very much. It's very similar to the other video. Uh, where the McLaren was just out in the open. So again, the wall is not affecting the wake too much of the flow going over. As we rotate more around, you'll be able to see the wake is now symmetrical. So just here, for example, let's go a bit more there. You can see it's pretty much symmetrical. So the wall does not affect the wake very much at all. So that means that you need to get very close to the wall for it to have an effect, which I think I'll do later on. All right, so that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out our other video with the McLaren in the open and check out the Atmosphere Hawk. It's an instrument that makes your experiments more accurate by about 4%. Link in the description. Peace out, amigos.